Hello, my name is Julie from So Unique and I will pop all the links down below where you can find me on social media. Well, welcome to another small business vlog. Uh, this week I've got about eight little kits to share with you that are mainly Christmas related and two that are not. And I've got two kits that are fabric kits and the rest of the kits are actually needle fountain. So, I hope everybody's had a, a lovely week. I hope you've managed to get some crafting done. I must admit, I haven't. <laughs> Since I came back off holiday, I've not really done much in the way of crafting. Only sort of making a few samples up for the website to show what some of the kits look like. So I'm still sort of busy doing that. But um, what I'm going to share with you today, I won't be doing any examples up, I'm afraid, because... Needle fountain. I've done needle fountain and I've enjoyed needle fountain, but it. I've got allergies, dust allergies, and the fibres from the needle fountain doesn't go down very well. So I had to stop needle fountain quite a few years ago. Right. Well, I'm just going to have a, a sip of my double chop mocha in my Halloween mug, and we'll get started. There we go. Well, the first one I've got to share with you, I mean, all these kits are very affordable. Um, this is a fabric kit and it's a Christmas Angels and it looks like you can make two. And you can see the price there. And you get everything in the kit and it's already cut out for you. It looks like the faces are already decorated up and you've got all your little bits and bobs there which I thought that was very good and they look really really nice I would quite like to make these myself but I've only got a few kits in the shop so I can't really do, <laughs> do that this time but that is the first kit and the second kit is Red Santa Trio so you get all those Little Santas, they look a bit like Tomptys really, but uh, they are little Santas. And you've got little arms on, and again, everything's cut out ready for you. So they look really nice. I think if there's any left over, I might, uh, <laughs> I might have one for myself. And the next two, we're starting on the needle fountain now. And the first one is wedding mouse duo which that looks really nice and they're quite sweet so like I said, it's all needle felted and everything's in there and that's the back and it shows you what you get in your kit that's the first one and the next one is heart mouse duo so these would my ideal gifts for anybody, birthdays, Mother's Day, anything really. I mean, you don't have to put mum on or love, you could just put something else on there. But they look very cute. And you've got everything in there. Well, the next four kits I've got to share with you are all Christmas related. So it's a good job of Dale's not here for the first one because she'd be wanting me to do this for her. <laughs> so we've got a penguin with <clears throat> lights around it, which I really like that one. And you've got your little polystyrene shapes to do your stabbing with your, put your needle, for your needle valve in, I should say. And yeah. I've done things like that before. So that's really nice. And the next one is called Snow Friends and this is two little snowmen with hats and scarves on. I mean how cute are they? How cute. And this is a, a nice little kit. If you're new to needle fountain and you just want to test it out to see if you like it, because like I said, they are affordable 
and yeah you could make these and make presents and all sorts with, with them and the next one is this very cute dog so what's this one called this one's called Christmas dog so that's very cute and it looks like you've actually got a dog shape in them and you might not be able to see it but that is a dog shape so obviously you've got to do the legs and everything but yeah that looks very good and the last one is ice skating bear <laughs> so that looks really good that looks a fun one and i'm just wondering i think the I think they're pipe cleaners by the looks of it. Hmm. So yeah, again, you get everything in your kit. So you've got your little polystyrene shapes, your needles for felting, your bits of fibre, um, and things for the hat and scarf. So that looks good. Well, I hope you've enjoyed seeing these new bits and bobs that I've got in the shop. Um, you, you, well, you can't see behind me, but I'll see if I can lift you up. Because now the shop's changed a little bit. And all the yarn has gone, if you can see. And now I've got all the kits up there on the top. So all the yarn finally sold out on Wednesday. Which I was so pleased at. <laughs> Because I've got quite a lot of gaps up there and starting to try and fill up with things. This is why I've had so many deliveries over the last couple of weeks because I'm um, I knew the wool was selling out and I, would, I just wanted things in ready so I could make sure those shelves were full. So this is where all the kits belong up there now. So whether I will continue having kits in after these have gone, I don't know. It just depends how they sell. Um, I'm hoping next year maybe to get some bag kits in or other things, maybe sort of sewing related like that. But uh, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Well, thank you for joining me this week for another small business vlog. Um, there probably won't be a business vlog next week because I think I've had all the new stock in at the moment. Um, I've just had a delivery of fabric coming today, but it's just like calico and some blenders and you know plain fabrics and things like that. Not much, but they will just go on the website as soon as I've got everything photographed. <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so I'm not sure if there'll be one next week. It depends if I've got anything else to come in, which I might have had everything, but you never know. <laughs> there could be something. So I hope everybody has a lovely week until I um, see you again and take care and bye for now.